Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends, get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers, and welcome to this Sunday morning devotion. Today being the second Sunday of Advent, we bless the name of God for this is a day the Lord has made and we ought to rejoice and be glad in it, being the Lord's day. Let us pray. Father, your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let this light guide us so that we will not walk in darkness, Rather, walk according to the dictates of the Holy Spirit. May your word come forth like mirror with which we have to examine our lives. May it come forth like hammer, breaking every stone hearted. Speak to us, Lord, in the language you understand, and help us to behold the wondrous thing from your law through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our topic this morning says the dangers of religion. The dangers of religion. And our text is taken from John chapter 5, 36 to 47. I'm using New International Version. John chapter 5, reading from verse 36 through 47. I have testimony weightier than that of John for the very work that the Father has given me to finish and which I am doing testifies that the Father has sent me and the Father who sent me has himself testified concerning me. You have never heard his voice nor seen his form nor does his word dwell in you, for you do not believe the one he sent. You diligently study the scriptures, because you think that by them you possess eternal life. These are the scriptures that testify about me, yet you refuse to come to me to have life. I do not accept praise from men, but I know you, I know that you do not have the love of God in your hearts. I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. But if someone else comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe if you accept praise from one another, yet make no effort to obtain praise that comes from the only God? But do not think I will accuse you before the Father. Your accuser is Moses, on whom your hope are set. If you believed Moses, you would believe me. But he wrote about me. But since you do not believe what he wrote, how are you going to believe what I say? This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. In today's devotional, coming from the daily fountain of Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, the dangers of religion. Anytime and anywhere you see danger, sign, you have to take caution and be careful to avoid any danger. The passage of today portrays the, the, Jews, the Jews as religious zealous. Judging from the human point of view, they were regular in their prayers and temple worship. But like people of different denominations, we go to their churches, today being Sunday, to worship God. Their leaders were vast in the knowledge of the scriptures. They memorized 
verse and quote passages of the scriptures correctly, but neglecting the aspect of its practicality, and the word has no root in them. Our Lord Jesus Christ condemned this type of religion and encouraged us to take our spiritual lives and growth seriously because those who live life for pretense will not hear the voice of God and have never encountered God in their lives because they were not rooted in the world. Being rooted in one has to do with one, surrendering one's life to Christ, being born again, receiving Christ as one's personal Lord and Savior. They only end up in having the form of God in us, but denying the power thereof. We can see that in 2 Timothy chapter 3, Verse 5. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 5. Viewers, this is the challenge for both the leaders and the led, the clergymen and the lay. It is therefore an established fact that any knowledge of the scriptures that has no effect on the heart is empty religion. Our knowledge of scriptures should help us to hear the voice of God each day and the word we study using daily fountain or any other devotional reading guide must find a dwelling place in our hearts. This will bring about the desired transformation in our lives that will translate to a lifestyle of love, truth, righteousness and justice let us therefore avoid the danger of empty religion and live lives of practical christianity that demonstrates the power of god you can do that by surrendering your life to christ give your life to christ if you have not done so before it becomes too late let us pray. I want you to consider your life. Think over your life. Have you committed your life to Christ? Have you surrendered your life to Christ? Can you make up your mind to say, Jesus Christ, I want you to come into my life and dwell in me. I want to be regenerated. I want to be transformed. Lord, may all those who heard your word this Sunday morning be regenerated and transformed by your word to live lives worthy of emulation and avoid the danger of empty religion. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com